And now I'd like to leave you with these four questions called questions to ponder. These questions were valuable for me and I want to make them valuable for you. Here's the first one, why? We all ask why we should work this hard. Why take that many classes? Why go to school that many years? You know, why take the notes? Why read the books? Why work that hard? Why put yourself through the push-ups and the disciplines? Why? Good question, why? Best answer to why, I think, is the second question. Why not? Why not see how many books you can read, how many classes you can take, how many skills you can develop? Why not see how valuable you can become to the marketplace, to your friends, and to your family? Why not see what you can make of yourself? Why not see how far you can go, how much you can see, how much you can earn, how much you can share? Why not? That's the heritage all of us have, in America especially, is to see what we can make out of our lives now that we've been given this extraordinary. My name is Mike Howard, and I want to focus on the first three characters of my last name. Let's delve into the three simple characters that hold the key to unlocking success and fulfillment. H-O-W. As a former NASA team member and motivational speaker, I've had the privilege of traveling around the nation and sharing my message. Today I want to reveal the magic behind my message, which resides in these three powerful characters. H-O-W. H-O-W. The first stands for help others win. Help others win. It's the essence of my philosophy. It's a call to action, a reminder that our journey to success is tied to lifting others up along the way. When we help others, we create a ripple effect of positivity and collaboration that benefits everyone involved. The second HOW, habits over wishing. Habits over wishing. Success isn't merely a result of wishful thinking. It's a product of the habits we cultivate. The small, consistent actions we take daily reshape our future. Embrace habits that align with our goals and watch as they propel you toward greatness. The third, H-O-W. Happiness over worries. As you worry about the future dwelling on the past mistakes, it can paralyze you. Instead, prioritize happiness in the present moment. Choose to focus on what brings you joy and let positivity be your guiding force. The next HOW, health over wealth. While financial success is important, it should never, never come at the cost of your health. Your well-being is your most valuable asset. Prioritize self-care, exercise, and a healthy lifestyle to ensure you have the energy and vitality to pursue your dream. And the final H-O-W, happiness originates within. Happiness originates within. True happiness doesn't come from external sources or achievements. It starts within. Cultivate a mindset of gratitude, self-acceptance, and contentment. When you find happiness within yourself, you become unstoppable in your pursuit of success. The magic of H-O-W lies in its simplicity and power. It's a reminder that success isn't a distant dream. It's a journey that begins with the choices you make today. By helping others win, prioritizing positive habits, choosing happiness over worrying, valuing health over wealth, and realizing that happiness originates within, you can unlock your full potential. you will fail your way to greatness. Most people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. When you're willing to fail again and again and again, when you make up your mind to become unstoppable, when you make up your mind to become a no matter what person, 
then that will then give birth to a part of yourself that you don't know right now. Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the dreams, the ideas, the abilities, the talents given to you by life and that you, for whatever reason, you never went after that dream. You never acted on those ideas. You never used those talents. You never used those gifts. And there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying, we came to you and only you could have given us life. And now we must die with you forever. See, most people stop short of their dreams at park and get off the highway of life because of the rejections of life. You will always be rejected. It's no big deal. Jack Canfield said rejection is a myth. It's not like when somebody says no and then they slap you. No, it's just, you know, to me, make no your vitamin. Get excited about the no. Why? Because every time someone says no, that brings you another step to a yes. You're getting closer. Trust me, you will win if you don't quit. You will win if you don't quit. Even a broke clock is right twice a day. As you go through the challenges of life, and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you. Don't run from it. Step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, if you easy come, easy what? Easy go. See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it, when you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, learning those things that you don't like to do. But you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it, because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender.